Imagine you want to record a video, but your room is a mess, you have no lights, and you don't feel like talking to a camera, and somehow you still end up with a perfectly clean talking head video of you in any outfit, any environment, with natural movement and good lip sync, all without filming anything. That's exactly what we're gonna do today, using one single image of yourself and a voice recording, combined with the power of Nano Banana Pro and Infinite Talk. Inside Comfy UI, you can generate a super realistic AI avatar that can talk for as long as you want. I will show you exactly how to set up the workflow, generate the avatar, and get the best looking talking head videos without the need for a studio or turning on a camera ever again. I'll also share my prompts, test different settings, and compare Infinite Talk with the best paid solution out there because this entire workflow is completely free. Let's start by creating the AI avatar image that we will use for the video. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One is completely free and the other costs as little as 3 cents using Nano Banana Pro, which you can use right now inside Higgsfield.ai. You can find it by going to the image menu and clicking on Nano Banana Pro. Here you can upload up to 14 input images. In our case, one is enough. You can use a portrait of yourself, even a selfie could do. Then paste your prompt. You can use the same one and personalize it. And I will also include more prompts in the description box. Make sure you're using the Nano Banana Pro model. You can choose from different aspect ratios. If you're doing this for YouTube, go with 16 by nine and you can select up to 4K image quality, although 2K is good enough. Next, go ahead and click generate and in a few seconds, you will get your AI avatar image. I really like what I got here. Nano Banana Pro is really good at realism. It matched my likeness and followed the prompt very well. Even the microphone looks so realistic. The only thing I don't like is that the RGB strip in the back is a little tilted, but because the generation cost is extremely low at just two credits per image which is between three and twelve cents depending on your subscription plan so i don't mind generating a few more options you can do the same and choose whichever one you like best and i promise you will be impressed with the results and this is only one piece of what you can do on higgs field the recast feature for example lets you use an actual video to control your character so you upload any clip could be talking dancing or acting and then you upload the image of the character you want to use and Higgsfield will replace the person in that video with your character keeping all the original motion gestures and lip movement you can even change the voice translate the speech or replace the background on Higgsfield you can also generate UGC content turn sketches into videos and access major video models like Sora 2, Google VO3 and many more. If you want to try it out yourself, you can use my code MDMZ10 to get 10% off your first month on any subscription plan. Hicksfield also hooked us up with 10 pro plan codes to give away. I'll randomly drop them on screen during the video, so if you see one, make sure you grab it. Now before we turn this image into a talking head video, real quick, let me show you the second way you can create an image like this without paying a single dime. First, go to comfyui.org, download ComfyUI and install it on your computer. Now, a quick heads up before we start, ComfyUI is optimized for Windows and works much better with Nvidia graphics cards. If your machine doesn't meet the minimum requirement, you can still run ComfyUI online. I'll leave some resources for that in the description box. You will have access to the same interface as if you were running it locally, so you can still follow along with this tutorial. After installing Comfy UI, click here and open Browse Templates. In the search box, type in Quen, then open the Quen Image Edit workflow. Inside this note box, you will find instructions to download certain files and models. Go ahead and do that, and once you're done, drag and drop your selfie or portrait image into this box to load it. Inside this green box, paste the same prompt that I showed you earlier. By default, the output image will have the same aspect ratio of your input image, but if you want more control over that, simply connect this node to the K sampler node. You can set pretty much any resolution you want. For a good balance of quality and speed, I'm going with 1280 by 720. Once you're done, go ahead and click run. After some time, you will get your free AI avatar image. Now, obviously, this is day and night compared to Nano Banana Pro, although newer versions of Quen will be released and certainly improved, so keep an eye on the templates inside Comfy UI. Now, let's get to the most important part of this tutorial, 
creating the talking head video itself using the input image. Once again, we're going to use a Comfy UI workflow for that. And just like any other workflow inside Comfy UI, you will need to download certain models for it to work. So before we move forward, make sure you follow the installation steps that I included in the description box, along with the JSON workflow file itself. Once you're done with that, simply drag the file and drop it inside Comfy UI. If you get a missing nodes alert like this, just go to manager, open install missing custom nodes, select all, click install, and once that's done, restart Comfy UI. Your workflow should look like this. And inside here, there are a few settings, models, and nodes that will drastically affect the output. And I'm going to explain every single step and setting that matters. For example, in the infinite talk model loader, click here to select from multiple models, focus on the two infinite talk models. One of them is tagged with Q8. This is a lighter model that requires less computing power. The quality will be lower than the FP8 version, but the generation time is much faster. Similarly, in the one video model loader node, there is a Q8 version of the one video model. It's very important that you match the versions. If you chose the Q8 Infinite Talk model, make sure you use the Q8 version here as well. If you went with FP8, you can choose between the 480p or 720p versions of the one model. Below that, use the load image node to import the AI avatar image that you generated. Below that is a load audio node. Click here to upload the audio segment that you want to use to drive your AI avatar. I'm using a 25 second clip here, but I've tested much longer audio files and successfully generated several minutes of video. Technically, this workflow can generate videos of infinite length. Let's go back to the max frames node. The default is set to 1000. The audio clip I uploaded is 25 seconds long and infinite talk generates at 25 frames per second, which means I need to generate 625 frames. As for the width and height of the final video, I'm going to leave this at the default, which is 854 by 480. If you chose the 720p model, you can set this higher and get better quality. The 480p option generates faster, and while the quality might not be as sharp, you can use tools like Topaz Video to upscale it to 4K after generating, and it's extremely fast, much faster than if you had generated at that resolution inside Comfy UI. Now let's talk at the settings that will affect how your AI avatar moves and the overall motion in the final video. The audio scale setting controls the expressiveness and intensity of the generated movement, such as lip sync, head turns, and expressions. The higher the value, the more movement and lip motion you will get. I'm leaving mine at the default of one. Moving on to the prompt box, you don't need to type much here, just the minimal description of what's happening on screen. For example, I will say a man speaking calmly in front of the camera in a natural style, that's all you need. Another important note is the one video sampler. I noticed that increasing the steps value can improve quality and detail and also add some motion, but it may also introduce some artifacts or body movements that look a little bit unnatural. Keep in mind, higher steps also mean longer generation times. If you want speed, just leave it at six. If you want better quality and slightly more exaggerated body movements, try bumping it up to 10 or even higher. Now that's it. Once you're configured the settings, click run and you will have your talking head video. As I mentioned, output quality and generation time depends on your hardware and settings, mainly the models and resolution you chose. By the way, if you like these deep dive technical tutorials, make sure to subscribe. I have plenty more coming and enable notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads. To find the output video, go to your Comfy UI folder, open the output folder, then open Infinite Talk, and you will find all your generated videos there. Now here's the real question. Is Infinite Talk better than other AI avatar tools? One of the most famous and reliable websites for generating AI avatar videos is HeyGen, and I wanted to test it against Infinite Talk. Side by side, honestly, the difference is not so drastic. Infinite Talk looks so natural and realistic, but if you use the wrong settings, it can be a little exaggerated and cartoonish. HeyGen is more user-friendly and the lip sync is usually better, but let's not forget, Infinite Talk is completely free. That is a huge upside. And you can also potentially generate unlimited length videos. Now, how about you? Which one would you use? Let me know in the comments below.